Hello, David here, and welcome back to my channel. Today, we're going to install add-ons to our HASEO installation to make it much more easier to manage and to make it versatile. Let's head on over to my computer and let's begin. Before we begin, I'd like to preface that the link to the site that I'm using will be linked below. So, we're on the Home Assistant website and we're looking at the add-on section. One thing to note is that the version of Home Assistant that I installed is the Hasio variant. So, to my knowledge, it's only the Hasio variant of Home Assistant that allows you to use these add-ons. So, let's go to our Home Assistant installation. We're going to click these three little bars on the left. We're going to go to Has.io. Hasio tells us that you don't have any add-ons installed head over to the add-on store to get started. So let's do that. So the first add-on that we're going to install is Samba. The Samba add-on will allow your Raspberry Pi to share the contents of the Home Assistant folder across your network. So let's install it. All right, so that was pretty quick. So what I'm going to do is for my username, I'm going to call it has pi and then I'm going to create a password. Please don't actually use password as your password. I'm just doing this as an example. So after setting the username and password, we're going to save and then we're going to start the add-on. So while Samba is starting up, let's go back and install SSH. So an SSH server will allow you to remotely connect to your Raspberry Pi in any event that you can't actually access the main web UI or your configuration files, you still may be able to get into your Raspberry Pi through the SSH server and make any necessary changes. Once the SSH server is installed, let's set a password for it. In my case, I'm going to do password again, save and then we can start the add-on. While this add-on is starting, let's go back and install the other ones. The next add-on we're going to install is called Configurator. The Configurator add-on gives you an additional way to change the configurations of your Home Assistant setup. It's not necessary, but I recommend installing it because it will allow you to maintain your configuration files right from your web browser. Once the configurator is installed, let's start it. While this plugin is starting, let's go and install the final plugin. The final plugin we're going to install is called the Mosquito Broker. The Mosquito Broker uses a lightweight messaging protocol called MQTT. What this allows us to do is that in the future when we create our own smart devices, these smart devices will be able to communicate with Home Assistant through the MQTT protocol. So now we're back at the dashboard and let's open up our Samba Share add-on. So when we attempt to connect to our device, we're going to use this username and this password. I've already entered these, so I'm not going to be entering them again. In Windows Explorer, at the top bar, type in Network and hit Enter. You should now have a device in your network called Hasayo Pi or whatever other name you gave it. And when you double click on it, you'll be prompted to enter the username and password which we had created earlier on. I've already entered that so I won't be entering it anymore. And here are the five folders that you have access to. The main one we're going to be looking at is the config folder. So opening that up we see here's all of the configuration files that make up our installation of HASIO. The quickest and easiest way to verify if your SSH server is running is to open up CMD on your computer and then simply type SSH and then the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. It's asking for the password now which we can enter and proceed. And unfortunately we can't verify that the Mosquito Broker is running right now but it's not something that we're going to be using right now. So let's head over to Configurator and finish setting that up. So for the Configurator the username is admin and for password let's create password also click save and let's start it. Once the configurator starts successfully you should have an option to open web UI. So if you click on that you will be asked to log in with the username and password that we just created. 
and then you can click the folder in the top left and here are the same files that we were able to access in Windows Explorer. And that's it. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope it's been helpful to you and I hope that you learned something new today. If you find these videos interesting and are curious to learn more about what Home Assistant has to offer, please consider subscribing to my channel for future videos. And as always, I hope you have a great day.